Welcome back to my channel. In the last video, I talked about the best internet download managers and tested both paid and free versions for you. Today, I'll show you how to extend any drive and what to do if the extend volume option is grayed out, solving it with just one click. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. Welcome to my channel, Technicio. To extend a drive, we'll go to Disk Management. For that, press Windows plus R to open the Run dialog, type compmgmt.msc and hit Enter. This will open Computer Management. From there, click on Disk Management and you'll see all my partitions here. I want to extend my C drive, but when I right-click on it, the Extend Volume option is grayed out because there's no unallocated space on the right side of the C partition. Instead, there's a Recovery partition and the D drive. Even if I shrink the D partition by 10 gigabytes, the unallocated space will appear on the right side of the D partition, not the C partition, because the recovery and D partitions are in between. So there are two solutions here. Either create a new partition, move all the data from the D drive into it, delete the D partition, and then merge it with the C partition, or use third-party software to do all this automatically with just one click. I'll go with the third-party software option because it simplifies the process. First, I'll extend the D partition again so the software can handle everything smoothly. For the software, I'll open Google Chrome and search for Mini Tool Partition Wizard. I'll open the official website, scroll down, and hover over the Home User option, which shows both free and pro versions. I'll click on Free, then download it. Once downloaded, I'll open the setup. The installer will show the advantages of both free and paid versions, but the free version will work for our needs. So I'll click Continue Installing Free Edition and proceed. It'll ask which software to install. I only need Minitool Partition Wizard, so I'll uncheck the others. If you don't want to participate in the Customer Experience Improvement Program, uncheck that option and click Next. It'll ask for the installation location. You can change it if needed or just click Next to install. The setup will download the software online first and then install it. Once installed, click Finish and launch it. Before launching, it might open the website. Just close that. When the software opens, you'll see its interface displaying all my partitions. Now, I'll right-click on the C partition and select Extend Volume. A new window will open, asking which partition to take free space from to extend the C drive. I'll select the D partition and adjust the size using the slider below, setting it so the C drive becomes 110 gigabytes. Then click OK. You'll now see a pending operation in the left panel showing the entire process, shrinking the D partition, moving it, and extending the C partition. The result is visible. The C drive is now 110 gigabytes, and the D drive is shrunk. I'll click Apply, and it'll ask to confirm the pending changes with a warning to close other applications. I'll click Yes, and the process will start. Once completed, my drive will be extended, all with just one click. If I close this and check Disk Management, you'll see my C drive is extended and the D drive is shrunk. So with this free software, you can easily extend any partition without complicated commands, even if you need to take space from another partition. That's all for today. In the next video, I'll show you how to install Windows 11 on an unsupported PC and use it without slowing down your system. Don't miss my next video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Technicio, and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Together, let's end tech tantrums. Thank you.